Yo, what's up guys, Coach KP here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five upper body strength exercises for basketball athletes. So before we get to the exercises, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. we're gonna do a landmine rotational press. So what I love about this upper body movement is that it's more functional to your sport because we're adding that rotation, we're adding that pivot to that vertical press. So you're gonna start out picking up the landmine, the barbell, you're gonna face the handle, and all you're going to do is you're going to dip down, rotate, and then press vertical. So this is great for working on shoulder stability, rotational power, and core stability. So for a second exercise, we're gonna do a landmine rotational row. So we're gonna set up into this staggered position, right? And we're gonna use the other hand as guide, right? So as we row, we wanna reach with the opposite hand. So you're gonna get into this position. As you row up, you reach. And as you come down, you wanna pull the other arm, right, to the opposite side. So reach, and then turn your body as you bring it down. So you wanna pull that handle towards the belly button. If you need to get closer, get closer to the weight because you wanna keep that elbow near your rib cage. And you just wanna add that subtle rotation. Our third exercise is a dumbbell single arm chest press. Now this exercise is good for developing core stability, core strength, and upper body push strength. So on the core, we're always relying on one side of our upper body, right? Whenever we're absorbing contact or using contact to get to the rim. And so this exercise is great for building strength and core stability to be able to absorb and create force whenever you're going on the court or finishing on the court. So, you're going to prop up the dumbbell, right? You're gonna start out by pressing with both arms, then you're gonna let go. With the other arm, we're gonna create tension by making a fist. And all we're doing in this position is just that we're going to bring it controlled, press up, right? So you wanna resist that rotation, right? So this dumbbell is gonna pull you to one side and you want to resist. For our fourth exercise, we're gonna do what's called a chin-up cluster. Now it might sound fancy, but all it is is that we're taking a chin-up and we're just breaking up the reps and giving us a little bit of a break in between. So what I mean by that is you're gonna um, go to a chin-up bar, whether it's an underhand or overhand grip, whatever you're comfortable with, and you're gonna do um, two to three reps and then you're gonna pause before you repeat that same thing. One, two, three, we pause at the top, and then we reset. One, two, three. So 
So our last exercise is a rotational pivot row. So you can do this with a band or if you have access to cables with a handle, you can also use that. And what we're going to do is we're going to create tension, right? We're gonna have one arm straight and we're going to pivot and then row. So you wanna drive your elbow close to your body and then turn. So again, we're attacking that pivot and rotation because on the court, it happens often. So we wanna be strong in this movement while at the same time, we're strengthening up our upper back with the rope. And once you're coordinated enough to do this movement, you can go a little bit quicker and pull fast or on rotational power. Footwork and quickness. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you comment down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to join the wait list while I'll be releasing my 12-week basketball high performance program. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, Coach KP out.